A mastectomy is a surgical procedure to remove the breast tissue. Women who have been diagnosed with breast cancer may consider a mastectomy as the main treatment option. This is called therapeutic surgery. Patients with a high risk of breast cancer may also decide to have a mastectomy to prevent breast cancer from developing. This type of surgery is termed risk reduction surgery, but is also called prophylactic surgery. There are several different ways in which a mastectomy may be performed. As each patient's situation is unique, it is important to talk to your doctor regarding the surgery options and the risks. If you are considering a skin-sparing mastectomy or a nipple-sparing mastectomy, this video is to help you understand the two procedures and make a decision about which operation is best for you. The Anatomy of the Breast On the outside, the breast is made up of the skin, the nipple, and the areola. On the inside, the breast is made up of different tissues, including lobules that make milk, ducts which carry the milk to the nipple, supporting cells called stroma, as well as fat. The breast tissue lies on top of the pectoralis muscle. There are also a number of lymph nodes in areas around the breast and lymph vessels within the breast tissue. These are an important part of the immune system. What is a skin sparing and a nipple sparing mastectomy? These two procedures can be compared to a simple mastectomy procedure. A simple mastectomy removes the breast tissue along with much of the skin, the nipple, and the areola. A skin sparing mastectomy removes the breast tissue, the nipple, and the areola while preserving most of the breast skin. A nipple sparing mastectomy removes the breast tissue but preserves the skin, the nipple, and the areola. With a simple mastectomy, breast reconstruction is done in a separate procedure sometime later. With both skin sparing mastectomy and nipple sparing mastectomy, breast reconstruction can be done at the same time as the mastectomy procedure immediately after the breast tissue is removed. Both skin sparing mastectomy and nipple sparing mastectomy result in a more natural looking breast reconstruction compared to a simple mastectomy. Patients who undergo a skin sparing mastectomy have the option to reconstruct the nipple and areola in a separate procedure later on. What do I need to consider when deciding between a skin sparing or a nipple sparing mastectomy? Eligibility. Not everyone is a good candidate for both procedures. A nipple sparing mastectomy works best for women that have a smaller breast size and no significant breast droop. A nipple sparing mastectomy is not usually recommended in the treatment of breast cancer for some patients, such as those with higher stage tumors or in cases where tumors and or calcifications are too close to the nipple. Cosmetic Outcome Preserving the nipple and areola generally results in a better cosmetic outcome. The breast reconstruction most closely resembles the patient's body before the procedure. Cancer Risks Surgery provides a significant reduction of the risk of cancer. In a nipple sparing mastectomy, although additional breast tissue is left behind along with the nipple and areola, there is limited data regarding whether leaving this extra breast tissue is related to an increased long-term cancer risk. What happens during a skin sparing or nipple sparing procedure? What happens before surgery? Do not eat or drink after midnight on the night before your surgery. You will check into the hospital on the morning of the surgery.
Prior to the surgery, your plastic surgeon will draw out landmarks and the incisions with a marking pen. What happens during surgery? Once in the operating room, you will be lying down on an operating table and given a general anesthesia, put to sleep. If you have decided to have immediate breast reconstruction following the mastectomy, there will be two surgeons and teams that take part in the surgery, the breast surgeon who removes the breast tissue and the plastic surgeon who reconstructs the breast. The breast surgeon will start to remove the breast tissue. In a skin sparing mastectomy, the incision will be an ellipse that goes around the nipple and areola. The skin flaps will be raised. The breast tissue will be separated from the skin until the edges of the breast are reached. The breast tissue, along with a portion of skin, the nipple and areola is then removed from the pectoralis muscle in one piece. In a nipple sparing mastectomy, the incision may be around the lower portion of the nipple, with a line out to the side, like a spoon, or under the breast at the crease that is hidden. During the tissue removal, no skin is removed, and the nipple and areola are left intact with approximately 5 to 10 millimeters of tissue left behind. Your surgeon may take a separate biopsy of tissue from directly behind the nipple in order to test it for abnormal or cancer cells. What happens during the breast reconstruction? Based on the reason for surgery, body type and personal preference, there are a variety of different options for reconstruction, including insertion of a tissue expander, or implant, or using a tissue flap from another part of your body such as the belly, or back. In this video, we will show reconstruction using the insertion of a tissue expander. Once the breast tissue has been removed by your breast surgeon, your plastic surgeon will start the reconstruction of the breast by placing a tissue expander under the pectoralis muscle. A tissue expander is an implant that is like a balloon. Over several weeks, the skin and muscle is stretched to make room for the final implant. A skin sparing or nipple sparing mastectomy with reconstruction usually takes two to four hours to complete. What happens when I wake up? When you wake from surgery, you will be in the recovery room where your pain will be managed by medication. There will be plastic drainage tubes that collect fluid from the space under the breast skin. These tubes are connected to a drainage bulb and will remain in place for approximately 5 to 10 days after your surgery. They will be removed by your home care nurse or doctor after that. What will happen after surgery? What should I know for home recovery? For some procedures, you can go home the same day as your surgery. In others, you go home the next day. You may have some nausea right after the operation, and you should expect to have some pain. These symptoms can be managed by medications and will subside. You should return to your usual activities soon after surgery. However, you should refrain from lifting anything over 10 pounds for a period of 4 weeks. There will be exercises you are instructed to do in order to maintain your arm mobility and range of motion. What should I watch out for? Most complications are seen soon after surgery while you are in hospital, but some may happen after you have gone home. You must contact your surgical team or go to the nearest emergency room if you have any of the following signs and symptoms. Fever, over 38 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Redness or excessive swelling around the incision pus or pus-like discharge from the wound or in the drainage tube, uncontrolled pain. What are the risks and complications? As with any surgical procedure, there are risks involved. Most complications are temporary and reversible. Short-term complications may include bleeding and infection at the surgical site, fatigue, 
numbness of the skin, fluid buildup called a seroma. In some patients who have had a nipple sparing mastectomy, there may be lack of blood supply to the nipple that causes tissue loss. This is called nipple necrosis, and about 10% of cases experience some amount of necrosis. However, it is rare to lose the entire nipple. All patients should expect permanent loss of sensation to the breast skin, nipple, and areola. Some patients should also expect to experience these long-term complications, pain or discomfort, non-cancerous nodules or lumps due to fat necrosis. What follow-up appointments will I have? You will meet with your breast surgeon about two weeks after your surgery to review how you are doing and to go over the pathology results. You will see your plastic surgeon as well for follow-up. Your surgeons will talk with you about the need for additional follow-up appointments. No routine imaging follow-up is needed after skin sparing or nipple sparing mastectomy. However, your physician should perform a routine yearly clinical breast exam following your surgery. Depending on the method used in breast reconstruction, you may require future surgery for example, to replace implants. You should talk with your surgeon if you still have questions about what mastectomy procedure is right for you.